So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Let's read it and translate any quantitative information while we read. The first sentence here says two beach balls are each in the shape of a sphere. Okay, nothing really to report there. That's the shape that we expect them to be in. The next sentence says the larger beach ball has a diameter of 3x. Okay, so I'm going to say that this circle is a sphere, let's pretend. And I'm gonna write down that, hey, this diameter is 3x. Okay, so there's my translation of that part. And the smaller beach ball has a diameter of x. Okay, so here's my smaller ball represented by a circle. Here's its diameter and its x. What is the ratio of the volume of the larger beach ball to the volume of the smaller beach ball? Well, how do you find the volume of a sphere? Well. That information is actually provided for us on the first page of, um, of the math section. So if you don't know it and you don't really have to memorize it, you can always just go back there to check for it. Um, but once you flip your page back there, what you'll see is that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And therefore, for the large beach ball, it would be 4 thirds pi and then r would be like 1.5 or let's keep the fractions three halves right half of three three halves x and then cubed whereas for the smaller beach ball it would be four thirds pi one half x cubed so what is the ratio of the volume of the larger beach ball so that's 4 thirds pi 3 half x cubed over the volume of the smaller, which is 4 thirds pi 1 half x cubed. And let's just start simplifying this. So the 4 thirds cross each other out. The pi crosses each other out. Um, 3 halves x cubed is the same as 27 eighths x. 1 half x cubed, so this is cubed, is 1 eighth x cubed, the x cubed across each other out. So I have 27 eighths to 1 eighth, and that's basically 27 to 1. So my answer here is choice D. Another way to think about this, though, a much faster way, if you knew this, then you probably have been cringing the last couple of minutes, but a much faster way is to look at the um, the ratio between the two diameters and see that the ratio of the diameters is three to one. The volume will always be the cube of the diameter ratio or of the radius ratio. So our, our volume ratio is just gonna be three cubed to one cubed, which is 27 to one. So if you knew that, you'd answer the question in literally 10 seconds. Um, but here's how you do it with math. Here's how you do it with the information provided from the test. But if you can remember this, that the ratio of the volumes is always the cube of the ratio of the scale factor, right? So in this case, the scale factor we're focused on is diameter, and it's three to one. The same also works for area. That wouldn't be for a three-dimensional shape, of course. That'd be for a two-dimensional shape. But if, this were just, if these were just circles that we were talking about, and the question was to ask, hey, you have a diameter of 3x for one circle, the diameter of x for another circle, what is the ratio of the areas? It would just be the square, right? So it would turn from 3 to 1 to 9 to 1. So if you didn't know that, please put that in your notes. Um, and hopefully this video has been helpful in reminding you if you did know that.